Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitale and on this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen I want to share with you my take on a pecan sandy or a pecan cookie, whatever you call it. There are a million and one ways to make this cookie. Um, this is just my version of it, which is very easy, just lovely, pecan <laughs> crumbly, sweet, delicious goodness, and I think you'll really love them as well. It just require, it requires a very small handful of ingredients, which are very, very basic, starting off with some all-purpose flour, baking soda, and salt, lots of finely chopped pecans, an egg, some granulated sugar, butter, and vanilla extract. And you are going to need some powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, but that's just in a little bit. The first thing I've done is preheat my oven to 350. The second thing I've done, I've taken a couple of baking sheets, lined them with some parchment paper, and they are just waiting, sitting, and waiting. <laughs> and I'm gonna make this in my standing mixer, but of course you can make this by hand. Totally not a big deal. In here, and I have a paddle attachment, um, I fit it with a paddle attachment. I'm going to add my butter, which is really important that it's nice and soft. And then I'm going to add my sugar and cream these together just until they're combined. It'll take about 30 seconds. Just going to give this a quick little scrape a -roo to make sure it all gets incorporated. And then I'm going to add in my egg. Now there are tons of variations of this recipe, some with or no egg, some with egg. It totally depends on your, um, you know, on your preference. It's all up to you. I prefer this recipe, which is the one I used, and actually I made these last um, last Christmas, I added my vanilla as well, I made these last Christmas and brought them to my Aunt Marie's house and people raved, so I'm excited to share the recipe with you. Let that mix for just a minute. Just going to lower that. Now it's really kind of important to make sure that you are really stirring from the sides and the bottom, and as you can see, even your little, um, like my my little paddle here gets stuff stuck to it. So you want to make sure it's all, most of it anyway, it's off of it. Otherwise, it's just not going to incorporate. And I don't want to lose any batter. I want it all in my cookie. So give it a good scrape, works. I'm going to add in my dry ingredients along with my chopped pecans. Now, you really should not be substituting nuts because these are pecan sandies, but if you want to, you can, it'll just change the flavor profile of the recipe. And I'm just gonna mix these in. These look fantastic. Now, going back to the different variations of this recipe, some people like to roll them into little balls, some people like to chill this and slice the cookies, kinda like a slice and bake cookie. Me? I take the easiest route, the easiest route, I should say. I don't understand why I would change using my handy dandy ice cream scoop that works so well. So that's what I'm going to use today to form my cookies. You want them to be about a tablespoon in size. And then all I do is drop these babies onto my little baking sheet. And then I'll find them out in just a bit. I just want to get these all formed first. Once you have formed your cookies with wet hands, I just take the palm of my hand and just Gently give these babies a little bit of a press so that they flatten out. And it's easy to do this with your hands when they're wet because they're, they're sick. It doesn't stick to your hand. Now these are going to go into my oven that I have preheated at 350. They'll take about, I don't know, 12 to 14 minutes, something around there. You want to keep an eye on them. You want them to be a beautiful golden brown color and you really smell the nuttiness from the pecans. It's so awesome. And then as soon, and I do mean as soon as they come out of the oven, make sure you sprinkle them with confectioner sugar because I'll show you what they look like when they're done. All right, in they go. My cookies baked for 15 minutes exactly, and then when I took them out, I sprinkled them with some powdered sugar. And I like to do that when they first come out because a little bit of the powdered sugar kind of sits on the hot cookie, and um, I don't want to say it melts, but it gets a little bit sticky. So it's just like, I don't know, it's delightful. So I just sprinkled them with powdered sugar, let them cool pretty much completely, and now I'm going to dig into one. You can see the bottom is a lovely golden brown color. They don't spread out a whole lot. Um, that's just what they do. They are just gorgeous. They smell so nutty and delightful. It's really incredible. And they're really lovely and flaky and crumbly. I'm just gonna break them up so that you can see. Look at that. So good. So, like, 
I mean, really. They're crumbly. They're sweet. They're nutty. They're buttery. To me, they're the perfect piece on Sandy. That's exactly how I like them. Mmm. I'm going to go to in the kitchen.com to get this recipe. If you make it, let me know how you like it. Or let me know how you make your pecan sandies if you have a recipe for them. And also let me know what other cookie you want to see for the holiday season. I would love to bring them to you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.